What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video, we're gonna talk about a tool that allows you to create editable 3D text within SketchUp. And before we get started, I wanna thank my newest supporters on Patreon. So a big thank you to Valen Thorne, Ralph Porter, Bill Fling, and Roka Sumacaris. So Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. Um, in this case, one of the perks of being a supporter on my Patreon page is that you can can vote on the extension that I cover every week. So um, if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show, maybe vote on the extension that I cover every week, make sure you check that out in the notes down below. So this week's extension, voted on by my Patreon supporters, is the 3D Text Editor. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Plugin name, 3D Text Editor. Plugin developer, TomTom. Tom. Plugin cost, it's free. Please remember to donate to your developer. Where can you get it? You can get it from the SketchUp extension warehouse. Tool functions. So SketchUp actually has a built-in 3D text tool, but it's extremely limited. One of the problems with this tool is that it can only draw the 3D text once and create it as geometry. If you want to go back and make a change, you have to delete out the geometry and then rerun the tool. There's no editing of the text possible. Um, in addition, it doesn't give you a live preview of what your text is going to look like, meaning there's a lot of guesswork involved. So this extension solves that problem by creating 3D text within SketchUp that you can actually go back and edit. So one thing I want to start off noting is that this extension is listed as not working as well with, mass, with Mac OS. So you can definitely give it a try, but you may run into some problems if you're using a Mac. But give it a shot and uh, see how well it works. Um, the first thing I want to note is the location of this extension. So when you install it, you can find it under the Draw menu under Editable 3D Text. This option brings up an options box where you can enter the text that you'd like to create. Note that the text will live update as you type it in the box, which is a big improvement over the built-in SketchUp text editor. You can see the changes that you make editing within the text that SketchUp's gonna create using this extension. So you can check or uncheck the box for filled if you want the faces next to the text to be filled in. Most texts allow you to set them as bold, italic, or bold and italic. The height option allows you to real-time adjust the height of your text so that you can see how big it's going to be within your SketchUp model. The extruded option allows you to set if your text should be extruded and to what depth. Again, the text updates in real-time, allowing you to preview what the text will look like. One of the best functions of this extension is that you can right-click on text that you've created with the tool and select the option for edit text to go in and make changes to the text group you created. While this seems like a simple tool, it addresses a hole in the existing tool set with useful text editing. So download it and give it a try. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Is this an extension you want to try? Have you struggled with the 3D text in SketchUp before? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.